Okay guys, hello and welcome. Today I'm going to run through five crucial steps to starting a small livestock farm. This is just going to be raw advice, um, guys. I'm on this journey myself. I'm uh, 23 years old and starting a couple of businesses in the livestock industry, the grazing industry. I've got a head start in some respects. I've been brought up on a farm, a family of farmers, so I've got that inroad. But uh, the lessons I've learned, I think, are applicable in a lot of senses. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I want to keep this short and I want to keep this very authentic, very real. These are things like you won't really hear other people say a lot of the time. And a lot of the advice for people trying to get into agriculture is very fluffy. It's very nice and it looks very attractive. But if you want to be real and you want to actually make a living out of, out of doing this, you don't hear the advice you need quite so often. Let's get straight into this. Step number one, don't buy land. Do not buy land. You can't afford it, okay? If you can afford it, you're not looking to start a small livestock farm. You're looking to become an investor. You're looking to farm in a different scale for different reasons, okay? You cannot afford to buy land if you're trying to do this honestly and make a living right now. Um, I'm saying that at least for here in the UK, but I think the same goes for the US also, and probably most of Europe, most of the, most of the world really, where, where you're actually gonna be trying to do this. Uh, land is very valuable and it's not uh, affordable, at least not at the start of your operation. Before you've even started generating income from your land, you can't saddle yourself with the debt to buy it, okay? So if you have the money to buy land outright, go ahead, do that, but you're not, this video isn't for you. So you, in order to buy land, you'd have to get a mortgage, you'd have to get loans of some sort, and presuming there's interest rates on that, you don't, you don't need that sort of debt, that sort of cost. Absolutely no need, okay? So what does that mean? You're gonna need land to farm, yes, so you're gonna have to find it through other ways. Uh, I might explain that a little more on the other step, actually. But you've got renting, leasing, tenancies. Okay, so you've got ways that you can move on to farms in that respect. Um, outside of that, a bit more out of the box, probably the better idea is actually to try and work with other farmers in some sort of land sharing agreement or some sort of agreement where you can start a business using other people's land in exchange for value. Okay, so you, maybe you'll pay them money, maybe you'll pay them rent or something. But I think there's actually opportunities out there for especially livestock farmers to integrate livestock into other people's businesses. Maybe people that grow crops or grow um, forages. At very little cost to them, you could integrate your livestock and actually be of a service to them. If you're you know, maintaining the property, adding fertility back to the soil. soil. So... I think there's a really big opportunity there. So that's tip number one, don't buy land. That's all That's all you need to know, don't buy land. Not right now, not until you can afford it. And yes, at some point you probably will look to buy land and get into debt in order to do that. But if you're looking from the very start and you're not coming at it with a pot of money, don't look to buy land. Don't get caught searching on the websites for land to buy near you. You know, just, that's not serious. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do that and then generate wealth generate income from that. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Tip number two, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Now, really I only agree with the second part of that statement, it's who you know, okay? So it is what you know, you need to know a bunch of stuff. But you need to be in the loop with people, you need to make some friends. Uh, you need to suck up to some people. Uh, you know, it's not good enough, the advice that tells you to just be yourself and just go out there and just find your way without any help is just uh, short-sighted. It is who you know, okay? In the farming industry, from my, from my experience, um, you need to become known. Your name needs to be out there. People need to know your face, your name. They need to like you as well. You need to be likable in some sort of aspect. Um, you know, you don't need to be the class clown, but you need to be respectable. Uh, respectable and people people need to want to work with you okay in order to do this so how do I suggest you do this honestly the best way is to work for somebody else work for somebody else that's already running a big big farming business 
through that you're going to gain connections and knowledge at the same time but the connections are going to be key okay if you couple that with attending farmers markets uh, livestock markets farming events stuff like that and just being authentic being genuine being friendly uh, being polite to people and being curious about what they do that'll get you a long way that'll get you further than 80% of most people trying to do this because nobody's nobody's willing to actually you know approach somebody and ask a genuine question with genuine curiosity behind it so I think getting the right circles you know if if you identify that that's down the pub somewhere you know just get in there get get speaking to people just just register your interest in what everyone's doing and that will stay on people's minds trust me you'll make you'll make a you'll make a mark there so that's tip number two it's who you know get in with the right people get get your name out there in the crowd get to know your your local uh, farming industry tip number three remember where your money comes from okay people get kind of in love with the idea of being being a farmer and you just it's just this idyllic scene animals and crops and tractors and flowers um, remember where your money come comes from okay now it might be different things but if we're talking about a small livestock farm okay you need to be converting sun into protein okay and selling that and being able to market that and sell that so just remember where it comes from don't get caught up in all this thing about growing some crop you don't want to grow doing something you don't want to do spending money on machinery and stuff you don't want to spend on don't get caught up if it doesn't make you money it can't happen okay you've got to be really ruthless with that like i said before the land's so expensive and it's gonna it's gonna cost you to 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 get yourself on some land you know i said don't buy it but it, to get yourself on there it's gonna it's gonna cost you in some sort of way whether it's just labor but you've got to be focused you know what what's making you money what species is it what's period of life of that species you know are you breeding animals are you just fattening animals up to sell them to slaughter? Are you directly selling their meat? Just just have a, such a good idea that this is this is more general business advice, but you've got to know where the money comes from and really hone in on that. That's tip number three. Tip number four, I already said it actually. Convert sun to protein. That's what you're doing. Okay? That is what you're doing. You're converting sun through a photosynthesizing plant into an animal that grazes it. And that animal is the protein that you sell. Okay, it's a protein product, meat. Uh, fantastic product. Never lose sight of that. Never, um, never shy away from the fact that if you're selling animals or meat directly, it's going to be needed always. It's uh, you know the best food we have available on the planet. Okay, but don't forget what you're doing. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in all the all the nuances of raising animals and these these breeds and this and that and what and the other don't forget what you're doing if the sun is shining you need to be making money you need to have green plants in the ground absorbing that sunlight absorbing that carbon dioxide to make plant matter that your animals will eat and put weight on okay that's your game that's your game that's it you don't need to get caught up in Oh, what's the price of grain doing? And I'm, I need to buy this and this fertilizer and this feed and this equipment. You know, you're taking the sunlight, you're converting it into your animal. That is it. Remember that. That was tip number four. Tip number five, I've alluded to it already. Strip the fluff, okay? I mentioned the machinery, the feed, the fertilizers. Strip what's not necessary. Forget the branding, forget the marketing of all this. You know, just because your neighbour John's got a green tractor doesn't mean you need one. Maybe hire his if you really need it. Strip the fluff away. People get caught up with what coat they're wearing, the gloves they're using. You know what I mean? The fences, what type of everything they got. It's just for aesthetics. Strip the fluff. You don't need a tractor. Uh, it's also almost this this sort of this excuse people used to not get started in a lot of things um, is that oh I don't I'm, I, and I do this myself you, you naturally think you're not ready for something because you don't have everything that everyone else has or seems to have everyone every farmer has a tra tractor right you don't need a tractor do not buy a tractor do not do that strip the fluff that's tip number five don't get the fancy coat don't get the fancy tractor don't get the 
the fertilizer that the brand everyone's using um, just because you know your neighbors using it and uh, let's throw a bonus tip on there tip number six bonus tip don't listen to fucking anyone don't listen to them not unless they've done what you're gonna do you're planning on doing okay and there are a few people out there okay so so keep an eye on them and consume their stuff but don't listen to them like I said about strip the fluff about the tractor brands and the and the brands of the materials and the fertilizers and the feeds okay everyone's saying this and that and what's the prices fuck them you don't need that you don't have that 80% of the people are losing money in farming okay that's a pretty hard, that might put you off from even starting but a bunch of people are losing money most people are unhappy they all moan about what they do and yet you're arguing about the price of feed and you're arguing about what tracks you're using okay put the two and two together you can't copy the actions of someone who whose life you don't want what a waste of time okay so that's tip number six put the blinkers on okay get focused like I said remember where your money comes from you're converting sun to protein get focused and do your thing don't listen to everybody else don't listen to the naysayers stay positive the whole time it's fine if, you, if you're doing the things I spoke about you're on the right path you don't you don't really need to listen to other people there's some great books out there stuff like that I try and read them but a bunch of the stuff you're gonna hear from your neighbors your friends other people in the industry it's just white noise just cut it out it's fine you can go socialize with them, whatever, but zip it out. It's just white noise. Just just turn that off. Just realize it's not valuable. You know, if you really need the, the answer to a problem, go find it from people who you respect. Find it on a forum. Find, find it in a book. Um, it's out there. You just got to find it. Don't listen to uh, people who don't want the best for you. So those are my five tips with a bonus tip um, for starting a small livestock farm. I hope that was... Um, uh, that was useful. That's. I just wanted to put out raw advice there. People, stuff you won't hear a lot of people say. There are some people that are kind of being a bit more honest nowadays about it. And, and also they're just waking up to the new era of farming. But that's what I've seen so far in my journey, you know. And I'm no doubt going to learn some more things. And I aim to share them with you as I learn them. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Drop a Drop a thumbs up if you learned something there. And stay tuned. We'll be back with more updates and more advice and more videos so thank you